Hey guys, we're back for more Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic. So I believe I have finished all the side quests here on Terrace, and you want to do that before you talk to Candorus and go through with his plan because you can't come back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need, so what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hall. We can go right now. Okay, let's join up. But how are we going to get me... But how are we going to get me inside Davik's estate? Jeez. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race, and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Kendris has joined your party. He has a special implant that regenerates minor wounds, so his health slowly regenerates. We're going to add Bastila with him. Ah, uh, yes. summoned me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malak? But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Man. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Kandra has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Dalek. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Hmm. Bresnik had to learn that double-crossers tend to end up dead. An important lesson to learn, no doubt. In my line of business, I've seen far too many people suffer for not understanding it. With the recommendation from Candorus, and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. 
Your offer intrigues me, Davik. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Fortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. I'm looking forward to working with you, Davik. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callum. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. All right, and now Kandros has yeah. level ups. How many? I think just a couple. So skills, he'll need treat injury and feats. He does not have two weapon fighting for some reason, which he needs because he has a big, huge blaster. A uh, blaster or heavy weapon, bla whatever. I don't know. He has something two handed. Yeah. Repeating blaster. Two-handed weapon. Okay. Anyway, let's keep leveling up. More uh, treat entry. More improved two-weapon fighting. And that's all he can do. Yes? Okay, so we're not supposed to leave the slave quarter, Or not slave quarters. The guest wing, but... Or bother the other guests. But w since when do we listen to orders? What can I do? I don't think we do. <laughs> Hey, what's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, or I'll call the guards. Kudu, Tuni Rama. Oh, slaves aren't allowed out of the slave quarters. I can't let them see me here. Hey, baby, wait. I wasn't actually going. Damn it. Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night, so you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. Mmm. Can't call the guards if you can't call the guards if you're dead. You should have picked an easier target. By the time the guards show up, they're going to have to take you out of here in pieces. Uh, I'm sure they will. I am sure they will. He is a bounty hunter, though, so you never know. He could be tougher than he looks. Or he is not. But we do have guards coming. Oh, and he healed himself. That's cheap. Mombasa actually needs to heal herself. Okay, that's good enough. Grab the remains, Bastila. Listen to my orders. He only had eight credits on him. That's sad. Maybe there's more in here. Nope. Wow. Okay, well, hey, there's a footlocker. Did I get that? Is there something in here? Yay, there's some parts and shit. Okay. So let's continue through the uh, guest wing here. Um, time to die, Buckface. And you get dark side points for each of these, which is awesome. Oh, Candorous, would you shoot and stop running around? Jeez. 
And I'm guessing, are more guards coming, or did we kill them all already? Oh, there are more coming. Figures. But, they're almost dead. Okay, Candrus, you are in my way. And you will get flurried. Okay, great. Still no remains? No. Alright, is this the last door? Oh, there's nobody in here. Great. Let's rob the place then. Uh, I hate when these take forever. It's kind of useful to have... I don't want to say useful. Maybe convenient to have security skills so you don't have to sit here and bust foot lockers and doors open, but... I don't know. I think those skill points are better used elsewhere since you can bash them open and it doesn't... It doesn't really make a difference. It does in the second game, but not in this one. Hey, there's a data pad. What does that say? Oh, wrong one. Data pad. Let's go through these items. Um. There's a data pad. Is that the one we got? In, okay, that's the one we got in the Sith base. Here's the other one. Trophy kills. Huh. What the ranker lacked in intelligence, it made up for in size, strength, and ferocity. Conventional blasters were all but useless against the impenetrable hide, and I was forced to resort to more unorthodox methods to bring the beast down. Okay, some well-placed mines near the watering hole were the first step. So he killed a ranker? Okay. Wow. So, Kalo Nord just pretty much jumped on a, a ranker to kill it. Alright. That's good news. Hey, there's shit on the wall. I didn't even realize this. I never realized that. There are enemy heads on the wall. We'll see these later. Okay, let's continue on. Huh. Learn something new every day, don't you? And this is actually the slave quarters. Which I'm not really concerned about, so we'll just make sure. Okay, there is a footlocker in here, and I can get it. Alright, I guess that med pack was worth it. Now it is time to leave the slave quarters. Which is just through here. Now, I'm not. Did I say slave quarters again? I meant guest wing. So now we need to find our way through Davik's mansion here. Which isn't that hard. None of the enemies are hard. It's not that difficult at all. See, he died in one shot from Basila. He did not. He survived. Where's the rest of my party? Oh, come on. Where'd they go? Basila's having to take out all three by herself. Are they being useless somewhere? Oh, you were right there. Why didn't you run in the room? A little too late, guys. But we do have remains, which is great. And of course, can't uh, transit or reselect your party. Sure. So I'm gonna go to the security terminal here. I don't know if we have enough. Oh wait, let's let's log out for now. And uh, come back to that. Okay. So right there is actually the hangar. And that's where we need to go, but we don't have the door open. So we can't go there yet. So we need to keep looking around and find a way to open that door. Um, okay. Standard door. What about you? Oh, more guards in here. I should be using Basila. I'm here. Okay, so you need to flurry away. Oh, quite a few guards in here. Wow. It'd be nice if you had a big multi target horsepower Basila, but you don't. So 
Alright, they are all dead. Fantastic. But they only gave 25 experience apiece, so that's not very much. And so their remains are also not that great either. Oh, well, concussion grenades. We saw those were kind of useful in the Bendax Starkiller fight. Hey, Bounty Hunter just patrolling the hallway. Alright, hurry up and kill him. About to have to end the episode, so hurry up. Oh, she's dead. Yes. He got her. Wow, 250 experience for him too, so man, he was tougher than I thought he was going to be. Yes. Go ahead and use an advanced med pack. Oh, and a computer pass card. That is what I needed. But let's go ahead and uh, finish out exploring his mansion here, his estate, whatever it's called. And then we will uh, probably end the part up. Damn it! Probably end the yes. part after that. Why is Dasla dying so much? Alright, we're just having a blaster fight. Come on, shoot him in the head. Come on, headshot. Oh, that was close. Got him on the shoulder. Oh, well. Okay, we have two more. And Candrus is not doing anything. There he goes. I guess he wanted to get right up in the thing's face to kill him. All right, Candrus, you should not miss one single shot since you're that close. Hey, there's another one. Did not see you there, Mr. Mr. Boy. All right, there better be something good in here. And there goes that guard. So now Basila can come back after that pitiful performance. Okay, nothing there. Don't see any other ones. All right, well, this goes back into the big room, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. So we have another low security door. Just heal yourself, Bastila. That did not do much. Why don't you heal more than that? Go ahead and take out this door. How dare you invade my chambers? How rude! I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. Um, okay. You touch that alarm and you're a dead man. What? How dare you speak to me like that? I could ask Davik to have you flayed alive for such insolence. I don't work for Davik, you overinflated windbag. Don't work for Davik? Then what you... Plus, assassins, guards, save me! Yep, you have bitten off more than you can chew, Teresian noble. Or Teresian noble. Didn't get any dark points for that, though. So I guess I should have said he was going to die instead of saying I wasn't working for Davit. Well, 35 experience, hardly worth it, but... Where did they come from? This... Did they just appear out of nowhere? They had to have. Okay, you are a noble. Surely you have some good credits in here. Well, not in that one. Maybe in this other strong box. Come on, credits. Hey, 500 of them. Okay, so let's go this way. Okay, here's a here's a nice room. Let's hit stun droid. Maybe it'll work. No. Oh well, yeah, it did work. Never mind. It disables them, or it stuns the droid, as the fourth power implies or says. Straight out. Whatever. All right, there's that droid. We get 250 for each of these. All right, this one's almost dead. No point in trying to stun droid it. Okay. Now, what do you have to say? can't talk to you yet and I can't move move guys jeez cage release 
Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. Um. Okay, you're free. Now give me my reward or I'll kill you myself. Please don't hurt me. I'll tell you everything I know. Information worth a fortune. So just stay calm, okay? I I'll tell you what I know. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Okay. How about some questions? Questions? Please. I've already told you the only useful thing I know. Just let me go before Davik figures out I'm missing. You might warn the guards. I better just kill you. We got what we came for. There is no need to indulge your appetite for violence. I'll do what I want. Don't interfere. You core slime. I didn't survive through all that torture just to let you kill me. Well, too bad. You're going to anyway. Yes? His name is Hudro, and he is dead. Come on, you gotta have stuff on you. No? Really? Aww. Oh, that's sure. disappointing. Okay, so I think I pretty much am finished now with exploring Davik's mansion, estate. Estate, okay. Yep, that. Well, maybe not. Hold on. Let's go back this way and go through this door. And there are guards in here. Excellent. Oh, where's Basila? Keep forgetting I don't have melee weapon equipped on him. This probably is not the best choice of uh, allies for the fight coming up. I probably should have picked Zalbar, but. Oh well. Alright, let's hit this guard. And what's through this door? Do we have. We have a minor fragment. But do we have anything we can get? We have supplies! And, well, there are quite a few things in here. Well, actually, there aren't really many things in there, but oh well. Okay, so now that we have that, we have remains we can pick up. Great. Now let's look at the security terminal. Use the access card. Um, actually, we've killed everything. We don't really need to do much. Let's go to the... No, let's go to the menu. System commands. Um, disable hangar security. How about that? Does that work? I think it does. Okay, we'll find out in the next part. I'm going to end this here, so next time we will try to head into the hangar and steal the Ebonhawk. See you guys then. Thanks for watching.